Bon appétit, my friends. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence. Hello oh, there, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to another video. I'm on top of a mountain and I'm hungry. So let's make some dinner. First things first, slice up your leek. Dirt loves to hide in these. Heat your pan on medium heat and add a decent amount of oil. And it's a dust bowl. Ugh. I will be eating dirt no matter what this evening. Slice your eggplant. I'm only using about half of this one, but if you have a smaller eggplant, you can definitely use it all. Throw it on a plate and we're going to salt it. This will help bring out any extra liquid, which will help the frying process. Test your oil. Not hot enough. We'll come back later. Salt, basil, oregano, chili flakes, black pepper. Pat these dry. Some chickpea flour and roll them in the chickpea flour. Set your leeks aside. Get some more oil in your pan. Start frying. Definitely sucked. But let's keep rolling. Burnt my thumb in the process of all of this, but we say basically all of the leeks. Not so lucky on the eggplant, but it's okay. We have some more frying up here. And um, I managed to wash off the blackberries fairly decently. I will be eating dirt this evening, but it's all part of the journey, I guess. They say that's a dry pitch bite. <laughs> Top it with some blackberries just for some freshness. And some lemon zest. A little drizzle of like cashew cream sauce on this would be absolutely phenomenal. Dinner number two on another mountain. I'm sorry if this makes you a little seasick. It's as straight as I could possibly get it. Like I said, I'm on a mountain. 
things kind of go uphill. So <laughs> anyways, table's a little crooked. It's fine. Let's get cooking. I am going to start off by boiling, boiling some pasta. I am going to use the same pot. Boil the pasta first, get that done and over with, out of the way, and then we're going to chop up our vegetables while the pasta is cooking. And then when it's all done, we're gonna throw the veggies in and saute until we're good to go. Let's get into it. We're gonna start by chopping up a carrot. I like to say don't worry too much about the perfection of the dicing because the peppers aren't perfect, so how can you cut them perfectly? I'm going to salt my, I almost said bath water. My pasta water. Now that she has a, she has a good boil, that was so much. I don't, oh no, oh, it's, well, okay, that's, mm, that might be way too salty, oh shoot. Oh, I'm nervous, but you know what, it's too late now, and I don't have enough water to spare. I'm not gonna add salt to the rest of this dish, keep that in mind. I honestly feel like this is one of the hardest parts about cooking in nature is straining your freaking pasta because I always spill it on my feet. Oh, gotta save some. Oh, I shouldn't do that just in case. That was real risky. We're not having another debacle like last night. Add some olive oil and we're gonna start by sauteing these onions. As soon as the sun don't, goes down, it starts to get so cold. Once our oil is warm, let's throw in our onion. Apparently it's not very warm. Now that our onion has started to cook, let's throw in everything else and let it get nice and soft. Throw some oregano in here, some basil. Obviously fresh herbs would be so much better in this, but it's okay. And now we wait. Sorry about the lighting guys, but I'm gonna add a splash of water to this to just help things along. I'm also going to add a scoop of this hot anti-pesto spread. It is fairly hot, so I'm not gonna add like a crazy ton because I wanna be able to eat this. About a tablespoon and a half or so. It also has obviously oil in it because it's anti-pesto. I don't even know why I felt the need to say that. It'll also help the noodles to kind of immerse in all of this. Pasta water, pasta, that is all clumpy. Splash of white balsamic vinegar. Well, my friends, it's time for me to say thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I love Squarespace because they helped me create my beautiful website and they can help you create yours. They have so many amazing templates for you to choose from, but you can make them your own by changing the colors, the layout, the fonts, and make it unique to whatever you got going on on the internet anyways. But say you wanna travel, go places, and be a free bird and make the living and the dream of your life a reality. Well, my friends, Squarespace can help you do that. They can help you set up a beautiful and amazing e-commerce store and answer any of the questions that you may have in that process. And if you're anything like me, get yourself a laptop, get yourself an SUV, and get yourself on top of a mountain to make your dreams come true. Thank you to Squarespace for helping me do that. And if you wanna try out Squarespace, then head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch that amazing site that you will create, then head over to squarespace.com slash Airs to get 10% off of your first purchase of a domain or website. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. Hola, hola, my friends. Welcome to dinner number three. We are doing a really fast one because we are losing light fast. I'm going to make some tacos, super easy. We got some crumbled in tofu, some quinoa, some spices, thrown it into a corn tortilla with some massage kale on top. Simple, easy, delicious, and it's going to be absolutely amazing if you're having a busy day and you're lazy after work. Let's get into it. Oh, 
smoked paprika, chipotle, parsley, splash of chili powder, nutritional yeast. Add a good pinch of salt to this. Couple of pigeon pinches. Depends how big your hands are. Now that we have that doing its thing, I'm going to take my kale, add some lime juice to it. Touch of salt and get your hands down and dirty. Now that my tofu is really crisping up here, I'm going to add a little bit of quinoa to it as well, just for some more substance and some more vitamins and all of those good things. It's definitely optional. I just have it made and want to use it as well. Get a little char on my sad broken tortillas. Line up your tortillas. Yes, I'm very aware that's not how you say tortilla. <laughs> it's just fun, okay? Pack them full of your mixture. Top it with your kale. If you have salsa, sour cream, definitely go for that as well. But unfortunately, I just don't have it. I'm also going to top this with a tahini dressing that I have. It's now in the middle. A very basic tahini dressing that I make all of the time. Tahini, white balsamic vinegar, lemon juice, a little bit of spices, and uh, yeah, just add a little bit of a creamy element on top and also help not make it as dry. And let's try a bite. Pretty good for a fast meal, I do gotta say. A little bit of salsa on this would make it so much better though. So highly, highly recommend some salsa. Or mixing a little bit of tomato sauce in with the quinoa and the tofu while it's cooking. Mm -mm -mm. Cheers. And just like that, we're on to dinner number four on top of the same mountain as yesterday. And we might even have some light at the end of this one, which is very exciting. I'm going to make a curry and let's get into it. And of course we gotta mince up some garlic. oil into our pan, decent amount, a couple tablespoons worth or so, and all of the veggies that we just chopped up, including the garlic. Come on, you've been on for so long. Heat up. Wait for your pan to get hot, because, no. Oh, I see some bubbles. Warm, warm, warm. Now that we got a good sizzle on everything and seasoned it with some salt, I'm going to microblade in my ginger and my turmeric. Add a can of coconut milk. Let simmer for about five minutes. Add a half cup of lentils. Simmer until the lentils are fully cooked. And it's time to eat. So let's dig in. Bon appetit, my friends. Hot. Very hot. Oh, it's so good.
Mm. Mm -mm. Ooh. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed today's video definitely hit the like button and the subscribe button it truly helps me out and i hope you guys try one of these dishes if you do let me know down in the comments and or on instagram at flavorful julia thanks for being here i love you so much and have a beautiful rest of your damn day Mwah! Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm.